The Dow down more than three digits. My name's Des here at Grok Trade on Wednesday, April 4th, 2012. Stocks down a second day here as investors are facing the prospect of no new monetary stimulus here from the feds. And also, news is saying that it's partly due to the poorly received bond auction in Spain. Interesting. I say it's because these rising wedges, and the rising wedges are more bearish than they are bullish. And sure enough, that's what we got today. Let's take a look at what happened in the markets. We have the Dow down 125 points, down 0.95%. The rest of the major indices down more than 1%. The S&P down more than 1%. NASDAQ down almost a 1.5%. Wow. Small caps, the Russell's 2000, down 1.7%. Banks down 1.5%. VIX up 5%. At one point today, we were up over 10%. We were up over 17 Gold, I mean, commodities just took a bloodbath today. Gold off by 1.7%. Silver off by a whopping 4%. Crude oil down 2%. And the U.S. dollar up half a percent anyway check this out so yesterday we were looking at this we had a lot of buyers coming in at these lows rallied back but that bearish harami based off these two trend lines right here building the rising wedge the tight one we were talking about yesterday boom cracked down now here is the issue and i want to show this to you let's go back and pull in a lot of time here look at this blue line support support we go higher support and then we're right here at support now if i really zoom in technically we are a smidgen below if i go to the line chart you can see support here go all the way down support here okay so we're right on the support levels we're just below it just a fraction below so question is did we break the floor and if so woe to tomorrow and possibly I mean tomorrow rounds out the week and we could get a nice little sell-off going into the three-day weekend tomorrow being Good Friday or um, the following day being Good Friday so tomorrow it'll be interesting to see how things play out let's look here at the Dow the Dow had this ascending triangle that we were talking about yesterday but we come crashing down you can see that we close below that trend line go back to a line chart here and we when we close below this right here I mean we just boom took a nosedive now down below the 20-day moving average Let's go to the Nasdaq the Nasdaq is still in good shape here we have an uptrend and really, the, these two lines are eventually coming together, but, you know, it's not aggressive. We do have a bearish divergence on the MACD, but we're at major support with the rising 20-day moving average. So the markets could certainly bounce here as far as the techs are concerned. However, if the techs start to break down, we're in a lot of trouble. Now, the Russells is a different story here. The Russells snapped a major trend line. And let's go back in time, take a look at this support support boom crack it right there finding support at the 50-day moving average in a lot of trouble we're starting to drop down below the zero line on the histogram we do have a big nasty bearish divergence on the MACD centered oscillator I'm gonna go here look at the banks the banks breaking down but we're finding support at the 20 day moving average on the weekly chart on the banks we have this high base but showing a little bit of weakness here and on the monthly chart we're having a hard time getting over this resistance you can see major resistance 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 we're there again so if the banks are done on the monthly run and we're not going to go much higher than this to start breaking down on the daily it will look like a huge bloodbath if that were to happen let's take a look at gold on a daily chart we had a big drop yesterday on big volume if you remember volume and then today a gap down so here I'd be watching this very closely because we have an open window here for all you charting geeks 
we have an open window on this gap down. If we have an open window on a gap up tomorrow, this will be an abandoned baby reversal pattern. Very rare, very exotic, and that should be very bullish for the gold. However, if there's any continuation to the downside, gold's in a lot of trouble. And chances are all the rest of the commodities will be following suit also. This morning we had ADP reporting saying that the private sector added 209,000 jobs in March. Um, however, the market still went bearish today, but that's a good economic sign to see that um, we do have private sector jobs increasing. And gold right now is at 1617.70. So again, 1617 on gold, almost 1618. And then oil is down to $102 a barrel. And I'm going to throw this out to you guys. I'm going to be in Texas on Saturday, and I'm looking to meet up with some Grok users. On Saturday morning, I'll be in Houston. So if you want to meet up, maybe over some coffee on a mid-morning this Saturday, that would be on the 6th. Send me a personal email at des at grocktrade.com. So anyway, again, this Saturday, there in Houston.